President Biden says that Americans should be concerned, but not panicking about Omicron. Some folks on social media say the symptoms are more mild than Delta or than the original strain. So is that true? Brandon Lewis verifies. The Biden administration is issuing a stark warning about the dangers of the Omicron variant. If you're not fully vaccinated, you have good reason to be concerned. At the same time, there are claims like these tweets sent to thousands of followers that Omicron only causes mild symptoms. So let's verify. Are Omicron symptoms always mild? Our sources are the World Health Organization, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, and the COVID-19 Advisory for Ontario, Canada. Many of the statements around the severity of Omicron are based on early data from South African researchers who first discovered Omicron last month, and the variant is just now starting to take hold in the U.S. However, the CDC says more data is needed to understand the severity of Omicron, especially in people who are fully vaccinated. The WHO agrees it's too early to make conclusions. We do have initial reports that suggest that Omicron is less severe compared to Delta. However, if again, if we have more cases, more cases mean more hospitalizations. And if a healthcare system is overburdened, people will die because they won't get the appropriate care that they need. The WHO adds, even if many cases are milder, as the early data suggests, Omicron is more transmissible than previous variants and vaccines are less effective against it. This increases the odds it will affect someone who will struggle to recover. We do know that people with Omicron can have the full spectrum of disease. Everything from asymptomatic infection, mild infection, people needing hospitalization, and people have died from Omicron. Canadian health officials agree. That's not sniffles. Uh, that is hospitalization, uh, which is a very serious health outcome. So it's false that Omicron symptoms are always mild. With your Verify, I'm Brandon Lewis. And if there's something you'd like us to verify, you can email verify at 12newsnow.com. Of course, direct messages on one of our social media accounts.